I have dreams about playing this at a festival and then getting touch sensitive to come in with the bass line. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, but I actually I have dreams about it. With this pioneer walks on stage. Oh. <laughs> it's going to happen. It's oh, wow. Happen. It's coming up late. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been looking forward to this. Tonight's guest is Melbourne's purveyor of deep disco, handpicked by Sam Smith to play on his Australian tour. She also did the entire One Night in a Disco Aussie tour with the iconic Greg Wilson and my personal favourite, Mr. Late My Tough Guy. She's put out an official remix for house legend David Penn, and we're just in it. She's got a brand new remix for us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the garage, Mel Hall! Doof, doof, doof in the air tonight. House music from all never felt so right. Now your name is on wait in the 305 It's going back up late. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm well, how are you? I was saving this. I wanted to tell you right now while the cameras are rolling. I'm oh a my huge goodness. fan of yours. Oh, thank you. I thank love what you. you do. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I wasn't kidding when I just said that I've genuinely been really looking forward to this specific oh, the next hour. Bless. Right. It's going to be fun. It is going to be fun. Do you have any idea about what's about to happen? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've, I've briefly prepared, but then also the element of the unknown is always is, fun. Is that your vibe? Do you like in terms of preparation? Like, are you, um. For sets, it depends. If it's sure. a big one, then obviously you'll, yeah, yeah I'll have Nothing everything like prepared. This tiny little fucking insignificant one. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm meaning, you know, a festival, you're, everything's totally. cued and timed yeah. up. Yeah. Um, Currently, just having like uh, two surly looking men with their arms closed <laughs> holding cameras. No, it's, look, it's not Falls Festival. <laughs> no. Um, we'll get there. We'll get there. Right, well, look, uh, I'm going to tell you how it runs. Okay. Uh, and it's pretty basic. Right. But essentially, we're going to play a 60 minute back to back set. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Love you. It's gonna be uh, two for one, so you play two tracks. I'll play one. Okay. I'll follow your lead. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Okay. <laughs> and we'll chit chat the whole time. Love or that. As much or as little as you like. Although from what I gather, you're a bit of a chatter. I, yeah, I love to chat. Well, that's great. I apologise. <laughs> I've just had a home. coffee as well. We're oh, good to go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Apologies for anyone at home that wanted to just listen to music today, because you've got uh, yeah. two people that love chitter chattering. One who is um, on caffeine currently. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please give it up for Mel Hall. Take it away. Yay, thank you. Sugar Hill Gang baseline. This one is actually um, Dr. Packer and yeah. Casual Connection. Um, two Perth guys, so I love it. Yeah, yeah, both Perth acts, um, but yeah, like Eric King. Show my man is talking here, bro. Leave me standing and taking no pity. From round to the point and always to the letter. You say something good, boy, I say something better. I'm never out of style, always in high fashion. Suckers out of wine, it's suckers I'm crashing. Face a documentary, the straight up truth is a definite must that I get loose. Cause if I don't, the people start doubting. My style on the mic to be deaf without shouting. Let my rhymes flow, smooth like water in the lake. And let the people stay jumpy because they can't wait. To hear what I say next, I'm a written text. I never make mistakes, always come correct. Cause I'm highly regarded. Once I get started, five, four, three, two, one, kiss, retarded. Got a gangster lip, but I'm not no pimp. I draw attention like the Goodyear blip. They said it can't be done, but I came to show it. Who said you can't be fly and also a poet? To be taken out. This is sick, by the way. I am, so grab your pen and pad <laughs> awesome. and listen to the man. generally something you'd open with or do you does it, is there no rules for you um yeah i think it's definitely a good opener and i think it gives you room to move as well yeah when i asked that though i mean you specifically is this something that you open with 
normally. Or, you, or did you just get in and go, I want to hear that right now? <laughs> like, what, what motivates you? A little bit of both. A little bit of both. A little bit of both. Yeah, you've got to think about what, yeah, it's going to set the tone for the rest of the, the set. So. Oh, okay, set. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> I feel like I've just had some of your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty out. There's plenty out there. You're right, Tokenistic Diana Ross appearance. She's she was worshipped then as she is now, and she played such an integral part in all of it. Definitely. Also, her son Evan Ross. If you haven't listened to his stuff, Evan Ross, he's amazing. It's more soul, um, but yeah, he's definitely got his mother's Same touch. era, or um, a little bit more modern, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's really picked up a lot now, but um, yeah. I feel so privileged that <laughs> Mel Hall is in my garage ed educating me about music. Look at awesome. They're educating each other. was entirely shown to me by one friend. Okay. And easy, that's a shout out to you. <laughs> but every disco banger that is the best in my collection was all shown to me by him. Right, I love that. And I'd like to open or show you uh, what I believe is my favorite disco banger. Yeah. Uh, it is a, uh, it's Alkalino. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, and it's a remix of Hollywood 7. Yeah, right. Alkalino, right. good stuff. Like, oh, yeah, amazing. Italian? I think so. Okay. I think so. Don't if we're wrong, I'm going to Don't quote me out. on that. <laughs> yeah. I can't tell if that's a vocal or a... That's a vocal well. That is unreal. Triumphant, big chorus vocal. Perfect. 
Okay, that's what it is. <laughs> So the live elements in disco is something I love. Like, you can hear someone walking that bass guitar, you know? For sure, yeah, definitely. Which is actually something that I love to do in my edits. Like, got, getting, I, obviously, I don't play bass myself, but getting into it with someone who does. Oh, you're getting live bass players in edits? Yes, oh, yes, for yeah. remixes. You need to, I the think. The presence you need of the greatness. <laughs> I need to learn how to play myself. I would describe this as triumphant, this track. It like, so is, yes. We've just won, won a big race. Yes, yes. Getting showered with champagne. Took a bus to Hollywood, looking for a room in the pouring rain. So bound, her eyes so bound She thought she'd take this down And turn it upside down I was living in a hotel Just off sunset she I did the faux pas where ball. it's still mixing in When the vocal comes in <laughs> Oh man, it's always I don't know if that happens to professionals like yourself It does, it happens all the time Oh my god <laughs> I was like, not the first track, not in front of Mel <laughs> This happens to the best of us <laughs> 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 The worst of the best her car might come tomorrow, she had to know her lines. Hollywood's sun, no surrender, you mean your spin lights. Hollywood's sun, you can dream your dreams for seven bucks a night. It's the Rasputin melody. I wonder if that's why I like it so much. Hollywood sun, you can dream your dreams for seven bucks a night. Better than that, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> 
Shout out CC, I love what you do. And invariably, so does Mel. Ooh. Deep. If I heard this in a club, I'd be shazamming right now. However, it's in my garage and I'll just ask you later. And it's right here. Shazam, uh, visual shazam. Oh, cool. But yes, going back to CC. Yes. I think, <laughs> yes, we I have to it. go back to CC. Um, I love that she plays originals of a lot of her tracks as well in her set. So you'll, it's, unless it's a particular edit that she loves or she's done herself, a lot of them are the original. She always pays homage to the artist. Oh, totally. And you know, to this day, she's always on the back of kids that are just putting a kick drum over a disco and yeah. oh, track it. She'll let them know. Thank you, <laughs> She'll up. let them know. George Michael Freedom at Let Them Make Cake just after he passed away. Oh. Like, she does these like very, like, she's, she's quite an iconic DJ. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Not, not, just as a, not just as a person, but in a, in a song song. Yes, like there is yes. so much, so much right, so many elements going right in order yeah. for CC to be the enigma and the yes. performer and the DJ that she is. For sure. Yeah. And I think when you talk about festivals, she's now like your go-to Monday morning, the closing set of a three-day festival. And that's what people will hang out for, where normally it would be like, I'm done. Or it's, you know, as soon as the sunrise has come up, but you now have people waking up to see her. Yeah, I've driven down to Rainbow Surf at Monday morning sober to see her. No way. To sing her clothes oh, because that's, that's what she's the best. <laughs> In a lot of ways, she's like that's like that's like single-handedly changing culture as well. Like, sure, yeah. If, you know, like she's re-educated a whole new generation. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> we bow down. Bow down. <laughs> This is a this is a Loshmi edit. If you haven't got any of Loshmi stuff, Loshmi is amazing. I am about to have one <laughs> Loshmi song in my collection. Uh, yeah, forgive me, Loshimi. I think Loshimi. No, I Lush, Wait, Loshmi. Yeah. Loshimi sounds like something we had for lunch. <laughs> That actually wasn't a convenient joke, which we'd have sashimi for lunch today. 
Something I love about disco is how it constantly back references itself. Like there's certain licks in disco that you'll hear constantly. And on a broader scale, that's something I love about all electronic music. The way it homages and references itself constantly. I hope you don't mind, but it's not every day you get Mel Hall DJing your garage, so I'm going to dance, you know? As Cece would say, less chin strike and more dancing. You know Stasi, he is the greatest dancer. Big love to Stasi. No, I'm not saying I'm the greatest dancer. I'm saying I also want to work down the line. Great to see you, mate. I love you. I also, can I point out the Dimitri from Paris remix? Yes. I haven't heard this remix, yeah. but I think in terms of the edit world, yes. I kind of put him at the top of the Holy Grail production-wise. Yes, what, what do you reckon? Where are you at with that? Sure. Anything that Dimitri from Paris says is always spot on. Oh my God. Always spot on. Yeah. You're inspiring me. You can't me, go wrong. Actually. You're inspiring me. Make a list. Am I up? Oh, cool. I got something. God, this is a great track. The breakdown in this as well is just perfect. Looks like we better let it breathe then. Arrogance, but not conceit. As a man, he's complete. My cream de la cream. Oh, I mean, I'm, I, all I want to do is just talk about how good Dimitri is. I know, I know. He's amazing. He's amazing. I think actually he had a tour that got cancelled with all of this stuff going on. Was he going to come here? Yeah. Well, the good thing is well, maybe that he got halfway through. There was that um, man is dressed to kill. I don't know if he made it or not. Okay. If he ever comes back, yes. He's you want to go? go. You want to go? I've got to go. Yes. <laughs> If she cancels on I've got it on record. I want to support. I'm going to manifest it. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Dimitri, come to Australia. We'll come. We'll... Yes. Mel Hall's going to support. I'm ready. I'm going to stand at the front and go like this. He's the greatest Actually, I have dreams about playing this at a festival and then getting touch sensitive to come in with the bass line. Oh, wow. <laughs> Another thing that I will Can we manifest that now? <laughs> touch sensitive if you're tuning in. Yes. We could like tag them in this or something. Like, true, true, yeah, true, yeah. true. That sounds like a pretty cool manifestation. Yeah, but I actually I have dreams about it. But this pioneer walks on stage. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's oh, gonna wow. Happen. The 
breakdowns. Master the breakdown. Yes, it's amazing. Totally. Oh, I'm so all about him. So all about him. Sister Sledge to Sister Sledge. You really fired me up with Dimitri. <laughs> Iconic. That riff. Speaking of baseline, check this out. Track breathe, like you're you're good to you're good to go. We've heard the chorus. This is it's meltdown. Essential Dimitri breakdown.
Maybe, yeah, October it came out last year um, for David Penn and Milk and Sugar. How did you get a remix for a house music icon? Um, Hang on. <laughs> well, this is unreal. I was very, very lucky, very lucky, although I always get told by people, don't tell you're lucky, you earned it, but I feel like I was very lucky as Mate, well. you earned it. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, no, David Penn played it uh, on a resident at 161. He played it uh, 161 Australian tour before uh, this song got released. And um, it was coming out through Club Sweat, Sweat It Out, which were good friends of mine. And we had discussions, I uh, waiting for a track for me to remix the one that we And when that came through, they sent it to me and see it's based on artist approval, so have a go at it. So I came back with this and got the tip of approval. I can see why I got a ticket approval too. Good fun. And milk and sugar are amazing as well. So it's David Penn and milk and sugar. But um, yeah, house and disco icons. Mixed by an up and coming house and disco icon. Well, I love it. Evidently, how's that? It's all about the fun. It's all about the fun. Oh, good up, Mel. Unreal. Thank you. I'm glad you feel that way. What kind of? Well, what was the reception? Really good. Really, yeah. really, really good. I was awesome. on the remix package with uh, Cormac from Sydney and. Solo. I am such a big fan of Cormac. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So it was good. It was a good juxtaposition. Those yeah. guys go big room, kind of big house vibe. Did you see Cormac when you were there last week? Because you went to Sydney last, last oh, week. Oh, no, I didn't see him. No, when, no, I say, no. when I say see, like, yeah. obviously he didn't perform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't get the chance to catch up with him. But, um, sure. but yeah, beautiful human. Beautiful, very, very talented. Amazing. So music. talented. Yeah. A bit of a... Um, Staple now. They love him over there. Yeah. How good is that? What an incredible success story. Yeah. Mate, that vocal is infectious. When, you're just hearing the word on repeat, happy people. Okay. I don't mind. I'm a desert straw. I'm a happy person. Vocals. Cause music is my life. Tedious. Yeah, okay. Sure, sure. But, um, yeah, I think it's, it needs to be tedious. Yeah. You need to do it justice. Yes, yes, yes.
bass lines today. I know, I know. I've got oh, a bit real. funky today. Do but... you have a favourite instrument in a disco arrangement? Oh, jeez. Mm. Have a think I've about never it. really thought about this before. Okay, leave it with me. Leave it with me. Forgive the, uh, the dicky Q button. Have you been struggling with it? Just no, it's okay. I, I found the little nook. You know when there's always a the little nook. nook on the back. Got the nook. <laughs> you got the nook. <laughs> Again, just say, just is what it is now. No, it works. It works. Do you know what I love leaving mixes in longer than you potentially should to see what happens? Yes, no, definitely. Now's an example of just like, oh, there's a new bass line. And it works. <laughs> with disco. I had a very dear friend of me, mine, wearing a leopard print robe. And it was pretty late at night at a kick on And he put this song on. I was really excited to show you this one. I'm, I'm sure you've heard it. No, I haven't. I oh. haven't. So talk me through it. This is Aeroplane from Belgium. Uh, remixing uh, Lindstrom and Christabel. And he was always a big, this, not Aeroplane, this is my friend that showed me, he was always a big disco fan. And I was big on like my house, and he's like, "No, I'm telling you, man, there's a whole, there's a whole other world out there. You just gotta find the right way to, to listen to it." And he put this on, and then this this breakdown happened, and he started thrusting his hips at me, and I remember being curled up in the corner in semi-vegetative state, and he starts thrusting his hips at me and making eye contact with me and telling me about how much he loves disco, and I was like, "Oh man, now I love this disco." This is amazing. And isn't there a leopard skin uh, kind of dressing gown or something at a kick on? Like if there's not, there should be some a criteria That's to right. make it a kick on. That's right. What's going on here, by the way? Oh, uh, look, I don't know. It's just <laughs> I feel like what I pulled out of the water. It's, it's, it's just it's kick on material. Like, <laughs> it is. Like. It is. It's like you're outside. You're rocking it. Alright, here's that. Here's that breakdown for you, Mel. This is this. What you're about to hear is literally uh, categorically the moment I fell in love with an entire genre of music. Are you an aeroplane fan? I am an aeroplane fan. Okay. Yes. Yes. Did you see him at one six? Yes. yes. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Yes. So we're in the same room. Yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness. How have your one? How have your one six one streams been going? They've been great. They've been really good. It was obviously a, um, a transition uh, playing to no one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> going from full room, no matter what time of the night it was at one six one. If you don't mind me asking, how's that for your head? Like, at your the help? start it was difficult. Yeah. When like I see especially someone that feeds off the crowd and I'm, I'm, I'm the person that will walk with someone and be like, okay, they're vibing with them and they're the energy and not having that. Yeah. Uh, it's, 
Um, but then you learn to kind of think, that's what's going on at home. Right. And if anything, really, right now, they need to look at some form of positivity. I know, amazing. So we're getting there. But you're, I mean, you're and obviously... feedback's always great. And when you're you bringing a lot of positivity as well, you know? Oh, thank like, you. Like, clearly. Yeah. Like, even Try. right now, the energy in this room is just, it's the Mel Hall, like, <laughs> you are keeping me alive. They gotta get you in. Uh, We've like, gotta lift each other up. They gotta get, get you into hospitals to like resuscitate <laughs> people. Just wheel you in with some decks. Why don't we just put oh, the one six one live stream on? My grandmother always actually talks about uh, me playing disco to her and her friends. Yes, right. She's like, "There's a gap in the market, Melinda." <laughs> she gets it. I mean, she was around when it was huge. Yep. and giving you not much time to prepare. But as usual, you've found something straight away. Vocals kick in, everyone will remember this track. <laughs> awesome. Also, what a line, the cure and the cause. Think about it. Yeah, wow, that's, that's pretty deep, isn't it? Could everything be the cure and the cause? Or am I oversimplifying a very complicated... I have a uh, tendency to do that. It's like, uh... oh man, I was trying to say, uh, <laughs> We're get people is the cure and the cause. Yeah, I'm actually not going to try and be profound right now. <laughs> a song called Sunshine and Lollipops. Fish Go Deep is the cure of the cause, baby. Do 
you like centralised around disco or what's what's your listening habit like? Oh, I, definitely, I do love house. I do love house music and I, I do, like disco house is definitely yeah. my flavour. Awesome. Um, and I grew up on house music as well, so that, I think, yeah, like all the classics, all the John courses, all the yes, like, sessions, all the... Um, I used to work actually when I was from maybe like 15. At Sanity. Yes! I listened to your interview on uh, Kiss. Oh, yes! Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you were about to say? Yes, that's okay. what I was about to say. Yes, yes, yes. So we used to have... Um, uh, I started off like out in the birds and then um, I moved to the Chapel Street store, which was the flagship store, and we'd have in-stores all the time of different artists coming in. Because it's Chapel Street as well. At the like, time. Went yeah. to, went long, this would have been like 13, 14 years ago. It's like uh, Peak of One Love, Ministry of Sound. Definitely, yeah, yeah. definitely. And so we would have like John Corson that come in on Friday nights and yeah. do their little in-stores. Actually, Andy Murphy. Talk to him about that. Oh, excellent. <laughs> um, no yeah. spoilers. No spoilers, no spoilers. Hey, and since then, actually, I want you to finish the story, but I also know that you played with, uh, you're handpicked by Corsi yeah. to play at the Prince as well. Spoke, yeah. <laughs> That's Mine still hasn't broken. <laughs> yeah, so I did that um, maybe three weeks ago for his John Corsi and friends at um, Prince Van Roo. Now, you can Amazing. actually say that you actually are friends with yes. John Corsi. You're allowed to say that now. He is, yes. He's, he's a lovely so that, human. He's got that, he's got that on yes. paper. Yes, that was on a flyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually John Corsi's so friend. I didn't play it. <laughs> um, when, sorry, I've got to keep it. No. When did you make the transition though into a disco world? Um, so I was actually in a duo for years, um, for the first like four or five years of my career with a, another girl called Jess. We played housey, really big room house. I always what's love. A, give me a what's a big room house track that you played? Oh for? my god. Um, like really, like quite commercial, like Swedish House Mafia, big oh, room. Love it. Mate. Swedish House Mafia 1 is unreal. Yes, oh, yes, yeah. definitely. Oh, yeah. No shame in commercial house. Let me mix this oh, one in and I'll come back to this question. We love to chat. Uh, I've created a format uh, where it's literally the it, it's the DJ's worst nightmare to be spoken to whilst they're trying to fucking mix. Thanks for your patience with me today, Mel. Forgive me, I, I, I've only been in Melbourne for 12 years and I feel like oh. I've, have I missed the motel vibe? Mm, I don't know. It's not around anymore, but it used yeah. to be a big Sunday session yeah. type vibe and Ron Carroll played and um, he was mixing it and he sang this live over the top and it was the most amazing thing, this track, back together. He sang yes. live. Yes, did while he, playing. Did he play the instrumental? Like version? now, if I could sing. <laughs> I cannot sing. <laughs> did he play an instrumental version that he sang over? No, he sang along so and he kind of ad libbed because his voice is incredible. So, yeah, it Throw was. Yes. Oh, wow. I don't, no one was expecting it. He was booked as a DJ set and then he just belted it out. I and, wonder, um, if it was charge, wonder if he could charge Motel like, twice yeah. as much. As he was like, hey, just give me a dynamic microphone and I'm going to sing for one song over the top. Yes, yes. And it was amazing. And I've. I've didn't know who he was at the time, and then I fell in love with him and followed his so career. So started the conversion. Yes, yes. So yes, because yes. of that moment, because of you being in that place at that time, yeah. we're now hearing <laughs> that being played here. Yes. It is the cures and the cause. <laughs> it is. It is. You're up, my friend. You mind, man? I'll let it breathe. I promise. Where I need to be. We're just pointing out it's almost an hour. I kind of, I would, I would play with you all day. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. This has been fun. It means a lot to me to have so an artist with your stature and your caliber oh, and your bless. energy and your song selection and your talent. Uh, Thank you. I appreciate sharing that. this space with me. So Thank you. Uh, if we weren't social distancing, I'd give you a big old hug. <laughs> I know. Soon we'll be able to. Soon yes. we'll be able to. Lock in that hug for a couple of months. Yeah. Now, yeah. <laughs> would have been monumental. Yeah, oh, it was amazing. It was so amazing. Well, wow. I think it was actually, I don't know if I remember it being a really busy night as well, so yeah. I think that made it more special because it was just wow. like a few people upstairs. Oh, like, so it's like quite a big room. Room. Yeah, it was really intense. Most of was quite small, so. Do you know what's great is that he had no reason to do that. Yeah, You call it like a moment of passion. Like yes. Oh. yes, 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 yes. Well, uh, hello, if I wrote this song, I'd be bouncing it out. <laughs> Would you like to dance with me? I don't know much of a dancer. I, I, I love to boogie. I love to... And dance break over. Drop this one in the inbox a couple of weeks ago. My lord. Yeah. Just casually on yeah. the side. Yeah. Oh, oh no, I was on. like, I'm playing with Mel Hall. Please send me disco. <laughs> hey, uh, you're up. Close us out, Mel. Send us. I send know. Send us home. Okay, I've got something. Something I prepared earlier. Consider it.
do, may we do it with passion. And may we all truly endeavour to be kind to each other, the world around us, and ourselves. I've been DJ, be kind to other people. Thanks it's for watching. Good night. That was awesome. That was so much fun. It was fun. Yeah. Yes.